Okay guys, welcome to my How to Hold series. In this video, we're going to be looking at Cobblestone. And we're going to be looking at the Long A area of Cobblestone, also known as the Apartments area. The long corridor on the left hand side of the map. So we'll be looking at timings, angles, positions, grenade usages, pushing, and terraced after plant positions as well. So let's first define what area we're going to be looking at. So we're looking at the left hand side of the map, including the left hand side of the A site, all along the corridor here. And terrorists are going to attack from the top of the map, close to T spawn. If a smaller area, we're going to be looking mainly at the corridor, where terrorists are attacking from the same position. We will not be looking at attacks from the ramp, stairs, or A site too long either. Now let's have a look at timings. We're going to look at CT timings, T timings, and the meeting angle. So for a good spawn for a counter terrace, to get into the last room of the corridors, it takes them about 10 seconds to get into that doorway. For terrace from good spawn from T spawn, it takes them 11 seconds to get into the last doorway, or the first doorway for them. So, if you have a good spawn, you're not going to be able to play aggressive, but you can play to that last doorway with the meeting angle across into the room. Now let's have a look at the angles. We're going to look at aggressive angles and defensive angles. So you can play super aggressive to fountain, and then you can play into the last room. You can play at the doorway, you can play from the stairs into the second room. You can play each angle from either side into the second room and at the doorway there. You can play from each angle to, to the corridor, across the A site from each angle as well, and then A site itself. So now let's have a look at positions. We're going to look at aggressive positions, defensive positions, one kill positions, and orping positions. So you can play in the last room. You can play at the haystack. You can play at the doorway, the boost the stairs, the battlements, the corner, the cubby, the wall, the stables, the cannons on the site, the truck, door, balcony, or back hidden in a site. Let's have a look at these in game. So this is the first one, this is an aggressive peak, and here is at the haystacks, it's a one kill position. Here's a good position, you can pull back. And then the boost here, so it's going to be a one kill position again, useful if you've got two people. Stairs, it's only really useful if you've got someone holding behind you. And then here's a good position, can be a one kill position, but you can smoke it out and get out pretty easily. The default position for holding long is here. And then cubby, again a one kill position. On top of the wall, a one kill position, but you can pull down. If you've got someone holding around, a good position. Stables is a decent one, but be careful, you can get overrun pretty quickly. Cannons is okay, but you gotta worry about the ramp as well. On site is pretty good, but they do have control of long if you play this far back. At the truck is okay if you got someone watching ramp. And then door is alright as a rotator, not as a committer. Balcony again, if you're gonna rotate this is a good position to come, but if you're not if you're gonna try to play it's not very good. And back here is not a particularly good position, but it can catch them off guard. Orping position, you can play aggressive. If you wish, you can play at the doorway here, which is quite good. You can pull back, you can play at the site as well. And you can play at the door as a rotator, and the balcony as a rotator as well. So now let's have a look at grenade usages. We can look at smoke grenades, flash grenades, and incendiary grenades. So smoke grenades you can throw into the last doorway. Not particularly effective unless you think they're going to orbit and you want to play aggressive, but it can slow them down a bit. It allows you to play there. From the haystack you can throw a smoke here. This is a much better smoke. It does give them position in the bench there, but it's not really too much positional gain. And you can use this to retreat if you need to. You can also smoke from the other side. Again, exactly the same smoke. You can use it to retreat, you can use it to move position while you're here. If you want to throw a further smoke, you can do that as well. Again, it's going to smoke off this area, but they're probably just going to ignore it. They're not going to run through it, they'll just go around on the ramp. So it's good if you're holding solo, you can throw a smoke there. From boost, you can even throw a smoke. 
This is let you get off boost if they know you're there. And you can then rotate back around to A site. Again, stairs, you can do exactly the same smoke. And this lets you watch ramp if you're solo watching both, or it slows their push down either way. It can also let you pull back as well. So smokes are really useful here. This smoke here is actually usually done as a T smoke for them to set up, but you can do it as a CT as well. If they know you're there, you can use it to run off. You can use it to delay as well. If you want to throw it further, you can do that as well. This is probably the better version, but you do have to watch out the stairs when you throw this smoke, because they can still come through stairs. From this side, you can throw the smoke as well. Again, it's usually alright to slow down the delay, but they can set up behind it with smokes and grenades. If you're in cubby and you got trapped, you can throw an underhand smoke here. This allows you to rotate out of cubby onto the site to get a better position without them pushing you. If you're at the wall, you can throw a smoke as well. This isn't particularly useful, but it can delay them, so you can throw the smoke and then watch the other side, help out your teammates if needed. So if you're at the stables, you can throw a smoke as well, of course. Same smoke. This does give them long position with each of these smokes, so just be careful with that. But it's pretty good for delaying, and if you're watching in secondary at the same time. From sight, this is a decent smoke. You just gotta get it right. Exactly the same position. This one, they don't know where you're playing now. There is a gap sometimes on the right hand side, just be careful of that. Truck, you can throw the same smoke. So this smoke then makes them think about which areas you're gonna play. So you can then use it to rotate around, confuse them, delay them, all the fancy stuff. Flashbangs, you can do an underhand flash to play aggressive here. Just be careful if they're below the ledge, they will not get flashed with that flash. You can do this flashbang. Again, if they're below the ledge, they probably won't get flash, and they can see it coming, so they're probably not the best flash. This flash is slightly better, if it bounces a bit. Still, if they're below the ledge, they won't get flashed. If you want to throw an aggressive flash at the haystack, you can throw one over the top. This will flash people below the ledge and most places, unless they're not looking. You can do a dual-handed throw over the haystack, if they're close. They shouldn't see this one coming very quickly. You can use the barrels to throw a flash. This rolls out. If they're not quite in the right position, they won't get flashed, so don't rely on it too much. Perhaps use this flash instead, which is a two-handed flash hitting the wall. It bounces a bit further back, and it bounces a little bit in the air. If you're at the doorway, you can do an underhand flash as well. This only flashes people if they're there. If they're around the corner, it won't flash them at all. You can pop it off the top of the woods. This flash is pretty much the same spot. It will flash that doorway. This flash here will flash people at the top there, but it will not. They will see it coming, so just be careful. This flash here, they probably won't see coming. It can be a bit unreliable, so just be careful but it will flash them quite nicely. You can flash over the boost spot as well. Especially with these flashes, you've got to figure out where they are because they're only going to flash parts of a room at a time. They're pretty good for delaying if they're rushing you, but don't expect them to flash everybody all the time. So from stairs, you can throw a bunch of flashes. Pretty good if you're trying to get away. Just throw this flash and then you can run down the ramp. This flash here is decent, mostly if they're setting up for grenades. It'll slow them down with their setup. This flash here, not particularly good this flash, um, because you can't peek with it, because it's only going to flash this room here. You can do an underhand flash, to flash if there's a smoke there, or something, and they're spamming through it, you can flash them. From the other side, you can flash over the arch as well. This flash is this last room, not particularly useful, unless you just want to delay them. Underhand flash works as well. So this is a better one if you're going to try to peek with it, but they can see it coming a bit, so just be careful. From cubby, you can do the underhand over the top flash. This will only flash people in this area, it will not flash them in any other room. This flash might work better for that. This flash is a bit further back, but if they're close, they will see it coming. You can throw a flash over here if you just want to delay or help out a teammate. This flash is further back, but it won't flash anyone close. From stables, close stables, you can underhand flash as well. So just find the flashes that work right for you. You could flash over the wood area of stables, if you wish. And that'll flash a bit further back. You can use this to peek out as well. Just be careful not to flash teammates on the side. If you're far back, flashes can work just as well. They won't see this one coming. 
If you've got the cannons, you can use the cannons to do a couple flashes. So this one here, it flashes on sight. It will flash any of your teammates trying to help you though. If it pops up, this flash will flash people at door as well as pushing from long. Just be careful, be mindful where your team are so you don't flash them. And make sure you use your flashes to their full benefits. So this flash here will flash everything. If you're on sight, you can throw flashes. You can do a straight flash over the top. This flash doesn't work if they're far back though. If they're closer than you think they are, this flash will work better. It's a two-handed flash. It pops over the top of the hut. You can use the back wall to throw us just a straight flash. Probably the worst of those three flashes. If you're at the truck, you can throw a flash over the top of the truck and then peek out with it. This is a pretty good flash. It'll flash the last room here. You can do an underhand flash as well. Again, flash is the same spot. They may see this coming, but use the one that works for you. Doorway, you can flash over the top. You can flash is the last room as well, so it's quite nice. Or you can flash over the wall, depending on where you are at the door. This is a, more of a delay flash. If you're at the balcony, you can flash as well. They'll see this one coming, but it can be useful to pick up. This one here will flash on top of the hut thing there, near the truck. They probably won't see this one coming as easily. They may still be able to spot it. You can do a dual-handed flash as well. They'll probably see this one coming as well, but it just flashes slightly different areas. If you're hidden in the back of sight and they know you're there, you can flash. Don't flash if they don't know you're there, because they will immediately know you're there unless you do a perfect pop flash. So underhand flash works as, as well here. Molotovs, they're mainly for delaying and, re and rotating your itself. So Molotov out the doorway there, Molotov this doorway, you can pretty much do them from anywhere you want. So you're using them mainly to rotate, just be careful if you don't throw them far enough, they can get you from the edge of the Molotov while you rotate. And delaying as well. So maybe Molotov, wait the Molotov out and then you've got even more time to hold before you have to fall back. From boost they can be done, I wouldn't recommend this as now they know you're at boost unless you're going to use it to rotate. Stairs is okay because you can use this and then watch the other side. You can watch the ramp. From the battlements here you can throw one. This isn't particularly useful as they can spot you while you're throwing it but it can be useful for delaying. This is probably a more useful one but now they will know you're there and they can shoot you as soon as you cross. So perhaps don't use the Molotov if you're there, unless you're using it just to delay. From here you can throw one. Again, you can be shot while throwing this one, so just be careful. This is a decent one. They know you're here, but you can rotate out without them shooting you, so you're quite good throwing this one as delay. Cover you can throw one. Again, they will know you're there when you throw it, most likely, unless they're far back. But it's pretty good for delaying. This one here, they'll definitely know you're there, but it's pretty good for delaying as well, so you can use this to rotate out. Maybe throw a flash in. If you're hiding behind the corner of the wall, you can throw one off the stable wall. They can see this one coming, but you can then fall off and rotate without being shot. Stables, you can throw one. Again, this one's delaying. They know you're there, but you can still rotate around quite easily. Sight, you can throw one. This is probably one of the more useful Molotovs. It stops them pushing out while you're on sight, really delaying them. Truck is a pretty good Molotov as well. Does the same as sight, delays them quite nicely door as well. You can throw it over top of the wall. This delays them, stops them pushing out, and buys your teammates time. So if you're rotating in, you got a Molotov, and they're getting calls from long, you can throw it down there. And it should delay them, mostly if the smokes are up indoors. Now let's look at pushing, benefits and detriments. So you can push multiple ways here. You can push all the way to T-spawn. This just forces T-spawns people to rotate, people to rotate across, and then back into the hallways or even back once you've gone. Not a very good push. You can push into the hallways here, which is quite good. This forces people to B site or back to T spawn or up the ramp. If there's no one at ramp, it's a very good push. And you can push onto the ramp, which is okay, but now they've got long control. And if they spot you, you're kind of stuffed. Now let's look at TR swap positions. So we can look at aggressive ones and defensive ones. So here's a really defensive one. This is just on the site. The barrels. Here's a better one underneath the balcony, killing people as they come up. The truck is good if you've got control of the ramp and long. On site, you're watching balcony is quite good. Can get shot pretty easily though. On site here, watching the door. Again, get control of ramp and long, you're quite good. Stables is okay, but you can be shot through it, so just be careful. And then back here at long is okay, but you've got to make sure you watch the bomb. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.